Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. Happy new comic book day, 11-16-2022. I hope all you guys found all your comics as you expected in your cubby or mailed to you or however you guys get them on the wall. You know, I hope you guys found all the comics that you were looking for this week. I know I definitely did. Now, before we get dived into the loud and mysterious black bag and what Jacob Comics picked up this week, I do want to let you guys know about the 600 subscriber giveaway. When we hit 600 subscribers, we'll be giving this book away. It's a Marvel number one uh, variant cover. All you have to do is like the video, comment down below, and be subscribed to the channel. We'll be giving that away when we hit 600. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get dived into the loud, mysterious black bag. Now, first up, we have the Lone DC book this week. You saw yesterday's episode. I did get Nightwing 98. Uh, first appearance of Nightmite here. Honestly, guys, one of the fun, most fun, lighthearted issues I've read in quite a while um, of any series, right? I, I definitely, again, I've been throwing this out there. I definitely highly recommend Nightwing if you haven't given it a try. Um, that's a good issue to give it a try. Uh, it's a little more lighthearted than the normal Nightwing issue. But it is a self-contained, uh, one-and-done story that if you, you know, if you're not interested, you can, you know, stop there. It, unfortunately, though, the art, in, it not, well, I shouldn't say it that way. Fortunately, but not fortunately, the art's done, not done by Bruno Redondo. The, the backup artist that they had come in is really amazing. But, uh, yeah, you you are kind of missing Bruno Redondo uh, and his his amazing art on that specific issue. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's get dived into the Marvel. You guys know I'm a big Spider-Man fan. Um, and so I, I went ahead and jumped on board. I'm not really sure if this is like a, a limited series or if it's a new ongoing uh, Norman Osborn's The Green Goblin now. We just had his first appearance and and they're already rolling right into his own solo title. And uh, so this is actually a variant cover. Just a cool variant cover, I thought. I got two of those. Um, well, two, you know, say I got the variant cover and I got cover A. Um, I don't know. He's, it, it's cool. This, I, I kind of, I really like this one. It's got this juxt juxtaposition of uh, Gold Goblin here, but in the in the uh, the mirror image behind him on the windows of the building that he's flying in front of you actually see hob the hobgoblin or green goblin excuse me and so yeah i, I feel like this series is definitely going to delve into uh some of norman osborne's inner demons it might be interesting i don't know <laughs> i'm definitely going to read one of them and then and then uh hold hold on to one and then uh, we got a couple of X-Men. This is actually a really lighter week, guys. Um, but we did get a couple of X-Men books. We got uh, the new Immortal X-Men number eight. With this real... I actually super love this cover. It wasn't a cover by I'm reading this series. But check that cover out. They're kind of like traveling back into um, the 1800s. And, and showing you guys... Or showing us some history of uh, Mr. Sinister, Mystique. And, uh, Miss, yeah, what's her name? Um, the, the one who can see the future, Mystique's girlfriend. Um, and so, yeah, that, I'm pretty sure that's what that issue is going to be about. They've kind of been telling that story and then going back and then, so that I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a bit more of that story. I'm kind of interested by that. It's, it's somewhat entertaining. I don't know. I'm a big X-Men fan, so. Some more X-Men lore. Um, and we got this. This is the last the last book in the Loud Mysterious Black Bag this week. It was Like I said, it was a lighter week. Um, we got Gambit number five. Unfortunately, the final issue of this mini-series uh, written by Cl Chris Claremont. I've been enjoying it up to here. You know, nothing, nothing mind-shattering uh, or earth-altering has happened. But it's just been a fun story with Gambit and and a young uh, Storm, or Aurora Monroe, as some would like to call her. And uh, yeah, it's just been fun, you know. 
the art's been pretty consistently it fun too. It's, it's a very lighthearted run. Um, so if you know, just a little mini series. If you if you're a Gambit fan, I, I do recommend it. Um, you know, might be some of the last X Men stuff we get written by or new stories we get by Chris Claremont. Um, so I'm I'm at least enjoying it for what it is. Uh, final issue on it. We'll see. Like I said, there hasn't really been too much of a throughput narrative. Just Rogue and Araro off having adventures and and fun. And, you know, they're both kind of thieves of the night at this point in uh, in Storm's life and at this point in Rogue's life. So they're they're having fun just adventuring together and, and Rogue kind of has met a new new girl. Um, so that's that's what I have this week. Not too much. Like I said, it's kind of it was kind of a lighter week for me. Uh, like I said, I hope you guys all found what books you're looking for. Um, as always, if you think I missed anything uh, this week that came out that you guys were really excited about, definitely pop a comment below and let me know about it. Um, all right. Well, one other thing, I don't throw this out in every episode, but uh, yeah, check me out on IG. Links are below. I'm usually live most nights, um, hanging out, talking about comic books and stuff like that. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.